Beauty and Black is the number one TV show on Netflix. Whether you love or hate Tyler Perry, you're going to tune in. Whether it's one episode or two, you're going to at least see what the people are talking about. And that's what Tyler Perry always does. With TV shows, movies, he always going to have the people talking. And the crazy thing is, this is his first TV series on Netflix. So the future is going to get crazy. Now we're going to talk about those early predictions for part two. So I want you guys to stay tuned. Yo ass been trying to take my place. No, I haven't. A you need to learn. I ain't gonna beat your ass and break my nails. I'm not trying to take your spot. Sylvie! No! <laughs> body! She's 16, body! That's a good age for money making. You gonna learn today, you stupid in Her name is Kimmy. You know who she is? I need to find her. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Beauty and Black, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Beauty and Black Part 2. This is the early predictions video. So down below, I want you guys to give me your early predictions for Part 2. How did you feel about part one? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What I have been seeing is mixed reviews. Some people say they love the show. Some people say it's trash. But the majority of the people say no matter what, they still cannot stop watching it. Like they're very addicted to the show and they want to see what's next. Whether they really like the show or they don't really like it, they still are tuned in. And that's what I've been seeing for the past few days. And it goes to show you that Tyler Perry knows what he is doing to get people to tune in. Like I said, you don't have to like him, but he knows this business and he knows how to, you know, put this content out that people will tune in to see because the show, it is a whole lot of drama. And all his other shows and most of his movies, at least lately, has been full of drama, over the top moments. And for some reason, people still tune in. So he definitely doing something right. As I told you guys in my last uh, video, that Tyler Perry, he usually rehires the same actors that he used in other movies or TV shows. And if you watch Divorce in the Black, you already know the majority of that cast, they're in this show. So he definitely looks out for the people that he worked with before, which is cool. Now, yesterday they posted the information that Beauty in Black, it was the number one TV show on Netflix. And I checked earlier on today and it's still sitting at number one TV shows in the US. So, man. They doing their thing, whether you like it or not. But let's go ahead and go over these early predictions for part two of the show. Now, let's talk about your boy, Norman. This scene right here, this particular scene when his wife died. Oh my God. It was so funny. I watched it so many times. I could not stop laughing. And even though he's very serious, I could not take him serious at all. I mean, he just smoked everybody. Know what I'm saying? The doctor told him that he was wrong or whatever as far as, you know, thinking that they can transfer his wife to a better hospital and save her. But no, that did not happen. That boy took off that strap and he laid everybody out. He knew something was up because his wife, she was doing well. This is what they told him. And then all of a sudden that nurse, she came in there and the next, what, morning, all of a sudden his wife ain't doing too good. And basically she's brain dead. So he's like, screw all this, especially when she really died. And he already warned the whole family. If his wife dies, it's over. You know what I'm saying? He ain't playing around. It's going to be blood shed. And I think in part two, we will see the showdown between him and Horace. You know what I'm saying? Horace, even though he's sick or whatever, that man, he's plotting and planning. And I'm going to tell you right now, it needs to be a final showdown between the two. I cannot wait to see how your boy Horace will react to that whole robbery and of course Charles allegedly being taken out which we're going to talk about in this video because we know he did survive and we know it was someone else now remember Olivia she did warn Norman that look stay away from my family stay away from my boys because if you go at them I'm going to have to take you down my damn self and she's going to try 
In part two, she's definitely going to try to do that. She did make threats at him, talking about she's going to expose the truth about the business and what he's really doing and all this stuff. So it's going to get crazy. And I would not be surprised if one of her sons does get dropped off by the end of, you know, part two. We're going to see. Now, we already know that Kimmy's sister, she got kidnapped by Delinda and, of course, Body. And in part two, we know what time it is. We know she got to get that payback, right? Now, Bailey Tipton, she plays Katina in BMF. So a lot of you guys probably already saw her before in that show. Now, we know at the end of episode eight, your girl Kimmy finally got some type of payback. She hit Body with that car and it took for her to do this because of her sister being kidnapped. And I'm like, man, Kimmy should have already put hands on Body and Delinda. You know what I'm saying? Put them hands on them. I mean, enough is enough. I mean, how much are you going to take? Now, we already know in this next episode, we know that your girl Kimmy, she got that shotgun and she ain't playing around. And I'm pretty sure she's about to confront Delinda, who done ran off with her sister. Look at her. Look at your girl Kimmy. She ain't playing no more. I hope in part two, or at least I'm expecting her to turn up. Stop allowing people to run over her. I don't think that's going to happen in part two. I think Kimmy is about to rise to the top and finally get payback on all the people that was playing her in part one. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Now, we also know that your boy Charles, his car, it got shot up by some hitters. And y'all already know those hitters was sent by, of course, Norman. A lot of you guys did point this out in my last video. You're also pointing out the fact that Norman most likely was the same one that sent those guys to Horace's spot to rob him, right? So he's on a mission. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely on a mission. But in this trailer, this teaser trailer, we can see Charles right here. A lot of fans is like, man, why would they spoil this, right? But we knew Charles was not in the car. He didn't even have his keys. I mean, he got robbed, right? And we know that Angel's boy you know what I'm saying? His co-worker was the one that did this because he was around your boy Charles the night that all of this stuff got stolen. And they was talking about that car. So he already knew what time it was. It's the same reason why he never showed up. Angel was looking for the dude. They were supposed to rob Horace, but this dude never showed up. That's because he was in that car and that car got sprayed and blew up. So that boy up out of here. Now, I also believe that Rain will eventually get out the hospital. She will recover. And hopefully her and Kimmy, they can start taking over and start getting payback. But Rain really needs to watch herself as well because she's not understanding all the details of what's really going on. I think in part two, Kimmy will tell her the truth about what's really going down. And we already know that she will be upset, but Kimmy needs to tell her in order for her to be able to protect herself because it's a lot of dirt going on and she cannot mess up she cannot afford for her girl to be out there slipping up around these shady people now this guy right here Jules this is the guy that we got to watch in part two he is playing both sides of the field or whatever your boy Horace he understands that he's up to something and he does not trust him Mallory she don't trust him he can't be trusted right I believe he will be exposed in part two and we're going to see if he does survive I mean I can't take him serious Ever since watching The Temptations, look, ain't nobody come to see you, Otis, and ain't nobody come to see you, Jules. You got to get the hell up out of here. And I'm pretty sure that Horace and your girl, Kimmy, they're going to be plotting and planning to neutralize him. And to be honest, I would not be surprised if Norman tries to do the exact same thing because he don't trust him as well. So I'm expecting Jules to take some major L's in part two. You guys let me know what y'all predictions are for him. Now, I'm expecting to see more of your boy Angel and Horace in part two. We know based off that trailer, they're going to still have some conversations, some storylines or whatever. And, you know, y'all already know Horace is going to probably continue to get what he wants from Angel. And I'm pretty sure Angel will continue to be real shaky. I mean, he was kind of spooked when he saw all those bodies get dropped off. He ain't never seen nothing like that before. So you guys can expect him to be you know, the exact same way in part two very cautious, very scary. At the same time, it's kind of crazy that your boy Horace, he is criticizing his son Charles about being gay and all that stuff. And down low, he gay his damn self. Like, come on, you're going to be a hypocrite? Talk about your, your son and you out here trying to get your freak on? What the hell is up with him, y'all? Now, 
Let's talk about Kimmy and Mallory. Now we know this is what the show is about, Kimmy and Mallory in both of their worlds basically colliding together in a crazy way. Now we already know that Mallory, she will learn of Kimmy or whatever. She's gonna learn the name because she's been trying to figure out who was sleeping with her husband, right? And in that teaser, she was having a conversation with Charles trying to get more intel on who Kimmy is. We know the truth will be revealed. And once that is revealed, it's gonna shake things up. We know at the beginning of this series, uh, your girl Kimmy, she was trying to get that scholarship and win that money or whatever. And she really did look up to this company, but this company is ran by a very crooked and nasty family. I mean, this family is flat out crazy. We know this. And I cannot wait to see the reaction of both of these characters once they realize what's really going on, right? I mean, you got a company that's, you know, having products that's causing cancer, ran by all these dirty people. We got Mallory, who's the person that really caused all these issues, the majority of them. I mean, she basically took out Norman's wife, a hit and run. I mean, she went back and then she said, you know what? I'm getting the hell up out of here. If she never did that, all these events would have never happened. I mean, even if she would have hit her, she could have still helped save her or whatever, but no, it's all about image. And her trying to protect that image is basically going to cost her. And I'm going to tell you right now, Mallory, she lied to Norman's face. She told him, look, she didn't do it. She, don't, she doesn't know who did it or whatever, right? And then she lied to Jules, telling him like, look, Rory, he is the one that did this. So she's putting all the blame on him. Like, really? Like, she got to watch herself, y'all. And then she got... Her assistant, Jillian, that girl, she ain't playing around. Don't be surprised if she tries to make a move in this uh, second half or whatever. She's already trying to get her cheeks clapped by, you know, Rory as well. She's thirsty, especially since she knows that Calvin is clapping Mallory's cheeks and she ain't having that. She wants to get payback and she's already warned Calvin that that's exactly what she's going to do. So part two is going to be crazy. I cannot wait to see it. I want you guys, I want y'all to leave y'all predictions down below. Do y'all believe that somehow, some way that Mallory will survive all of this? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it says that survival takes everything. We know your girl, Kimmy, she gonna be okay. You know what I'm saying? She's already been at the bottom. So I'm expecting her to be at the top by the end of part two. And it definitely looks like your girl Mallory could be at the bottom at the end of part two. But then again, you just never know. It will be crazy if your girl Mallory figures all this out and somehow some way survives and neutralizes everybody and protects her image but then again we gotta wait and see i want to thank you guys once again for all the love all the support i will probably do another video once we get closer to uh part two or whatever probably do like a, a final predictions video or hopefully they drop a part two official trailer and i may talk about that as well but i want to thank you guys for supporting me as far as this show and the content that i've been releasing for this show, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. This should be Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.